Hey, how you doing? So today we're talking about HTV, which is just regular printable vinyl, and DTF, the big major difference between the two. So before I get started, go ahead and click the subscribe button if you're not already following me, the like button if you enjoyed this video, share it with as many people as you can. Today's video, we're gonna be unveiling the difference between the two, should you even um, bother testing out um, the DTF. Um, if you're already printing HTV, is it good enough? If you're not printing it, should you be exploring the option? We'll be talking about all of that. But before I get started, it's your, it's your girl, Maya G, the printer. I'm a printer in South Florida, been printing over eight years, and I print all format, DTG, um, white format, DTF, name it, I've done it. And I wanna go ahead and um, move on to the video. All right, sit back. I don't know if you can really see the difference. This is a DTF. Right here. And this is printable vinyl. Now, if you look at the corners there, my blade didn't hit those corners. She still have a little bit of white there. Um, the colors are pretty close but how it prints on actual garments is the big big play this is the back of the DTF you can see the glue that's gonna be um, adhering to the garment what's the big major difference the big major difference between the two of them is the feel that's one two this is a two-step process this is a one-step process actually three steps um, cause you're gonna print it, cut it, then apply a transfer tape and then apply it to the garment. With this, you're just going to print it, apply the adhesive and um, heat it and I'm ready to rock and roll. Depending on the transfer tape they use, sometimes you may run into some serious problem with the uh, printable vinyl. With this, I mean, the error margins are very, very few. But if you're not wanting to get into the printing of these things, which can be very cumbersome, if you are not used to it, you can get it directly from us. We do sell both. We sell the uh, HTV printable vinyls, and we also sell the DTF. Now, when would it be a good idea to use either or? Generally, when I do shirts where it's a simple square or simple cuts, I'll go with this one because the uh, HTV is real simple. You print it, throw it in the plotter, cut it, and transfer and apply. It's really good. And it's actually um, more cost effective to do it this way. However, when you get your, your, your shirts, your garments that requires more detail, I would do DTF. DTF now, it's not the end of all, right? DTF is great for certain projects. Now you're gonna get some higher end clients that want, that want you to use DTG. I'm sure, he was printing DTG, and I could have, I could have done this one in DTF. However, I chose not to do it in DTF because the client didn't want DTF. And um, you know, seasoned client, high fashion clients, they know the difference. So um, you always want to make sure you remain honest with your clients so that you don't run into problems. Now the DTF, we printed it on some shorts here, and you can see it's really soft, really clean. Um, it doesn't feel like a sticker, definitely not a uh, toner uh, transfer, if you've ever used those. Um, the feel is, is, is great, you know, and for certain products like that, are, these are shorts and generally might be a little hard to print on. So for this, it's perfect. But, you know, again, like I said, if you print on HTV, the material may have like a you know, that feel to it, like a little stiff. So that may not be the look that you're going for. All in all, DTF is a great solution to add to um, your garment printing options. And if you're thinking about using it, you're not sure, click on the link. Um, we have a link to where you can order your DTF um, transfers directly from us and send us your file transparent background and we'll print them for you and give it a shot and uh, leave us a comment. 
Any question, guys, leave it in the comment below. Until next time, it's your girl, Maya G. The Printer. Peace.